Hello, today we're going to take a look at a really cool little website called Pen.io. In a nutshell, what it allows you to do is to make a small, simple web page or your students to make a small, simple web page uh, very quickly in a matter of seconds. If you want to put something online, you can do so. So, when you first come to Pen.io, you're going to see something like this, page name and password. The page name is actually going to end up being the address that you're going to be typing up here to get to this web page. Right now it's some gobbledygook like K3KBO. I don't want that. I want something easy for my students to remember. So I'm going to change the page name. You're allowed to do that. I'm going to say Avi Waves Hello. That's going to be the name of my web page. I'm going to give it a password. And the password allows me to come back afterwards and make changes if I want to. That's important. And I'm going to click on Create New Page. And you're going to see something like this. What you can actually do is just click over here. And if you want, you can actually just delete all this. I'm going to leave some of that there for now. I'm going to just delete this part here. And I'm going to say, my name is Avi and I like this tool. Good. And I'm also going to change the title. Avi's Hello webpage. Now it's not meant for anything complicated, just something simple like that. If I want, I can change the look by clicking over here on this little paintbrush. I'll change it to this. There you go. And um, now if you look carefully over here, I want to point out a couple of things on the screen. The first thing is right over here. See, it says avivaveshello.penio. <laughs> it, it rhymes. If you do that, if you go there in your web browser right now, you'll actually see my web page. It's already up online. Um, if I want to edit it after, if I'm the author of it, you'll see over here it says avivaveshello.penio slash edit. If you type that in, it's going to ask you in for the password. Um, I'm not giving you my password, but if I type in my password, I can go back in here and make changes. And if you look down over here, it says to insert a video, to insert a new page, insert an image. If you want to do some more fancy stuff, you can. I don't want to cover that in this video. I generally like to show this tool as just something if you want to go out there and put some short text online. So there you go.